The first half of Lesson 11.1 was about the fundamental counting principle. The second half will be about using the formulas NPR and NCR, and then knowing when to use the two different formulas at different times. So the NPR formula is used when we want to find a permutation where we have a certain number of items, but we're not going to put all of the items in order. We're only going to take R of those items. So for example, let's say we have 12 people, and from the 12 people, we're going to arrange five of them in a particular order. So using the formula, we would calculate that by doing 12 factorial and divide that by 12 minus 5 factorial. So that's 12 factorial divided by 7 factorial. And you can do the math using your factorial button, but there is an NPR button on your calculator. So to calculate 12P5, you would first put the 12 in your calculator. Then you go to math, arrow over here to probability, and then choose number 2, NPR. And finally, we have to put in our R value, which was 5. And that will calculate for us, and we get 95,040. So 12P5 is 95,040. So suppose I'm making a new seating chart from the 24 students in the class. How many ways can I arrange five students to sit, sit in the first five seats on the left-hand side? So I would do 24P5. Using the formula, that would be 24 factorial divided by 24 minus 5 factorial. And you can put this in your calculator. And we get 5,100,480. You could also calculate a combination. A combination is similar to a permutation. As you can see, the formula is very similar. But the difference is, with a combination, you're taking groups of people instead of putting individuals in order. So um, if we're doing an NCR, let's say we had, um, let's say, six people, and we want to choose two of them to form a group, um, in how many ways can we form groups of two if we have six people? So using the formula, we would have six factorial divided by 2 factorial times 6 minus 2 factorial. So simplifying that 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 4 factorial. 2 factorial times 4 factorial is not 8 factorial. That would be 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Definitely not 8. Again, there's a button in your calculator for this. So for calculating 6C2, you put in the 6, go to math, choose probability, and then choice number 3 is NCR. And last, we put in our R value, which was 2, and we get 15. So the answer here to our problem is 15. And so each of these you could calculate in your calculator just practicing with the buttons. And I'll put the answers up here in just a moment. And here are the answers. Okay, suppose that our next project in Algebra 2 is going to be a project done in groups of three. So from the 24 students in the class, how many groups of three students could be made? And since we're talking about groups here, we're talking about a combination instead of a permutation. So we do 24C3, and that comes out to 2024. Finally, you need to be able to know when to do a permutation and when to do a combination. Permutations are done when there's order, first, second, third. Combinations are done when there are groups, so the order does not matter. So if Mr. Shinborn divides his class into eight groups and has each group draw one 
drying of a molecular structure of water. And then from that, he selects four drawings to display. In how many ways can he select the drawings? Well, the drawings will be put up around the room. There's no particular order. There's no prize for first, pack, second, and third. So these are just groups. So since they're only groups, we would have eight groups. And he's choosing four drawings. So it would be 8C4. And that comes out to 70. Okay, in the second example, you will draw winners from a total of 25 tickets in a raffle. First place gets $100, second place gets $50, and third place gets $10. In this case, there is a definite order because the first ticket is winning more money than the second ticket. So the order does matter here, so that makes this a permutation. So 25 tickets, we want to choose first, second, third, so that's three places, and 25P3 is 13,800.